Hi and welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Anne. Last episode, I talked about doors and gates and the thresholds these represent. How the thresholds mark the end of one thing, like a place or a time and an awareness or an experience and the beginning of another. When Jesus was on earth, he called himself a gate. He said, I am the gate for the sheep. Anyone who goes through me will be cared for, will freely go in and out and find pasture. A thief is only there to steal and kill and destroy. I came so they can have real and eternal life, more and better life than they've ever dreamed of. Jesus went on to describe himself as the good shepherd who looks after the welfare of the sheep in every little detail. These sheep believe in him, follow his teaching, hear his voice. Psalm 23 paints a wonderful picture of what this means. His followers never lack for anything they need. He offers them a resting place in lush green pastures, leads them by quiet waters so they can have a drink, gives them time to pause and catch their breath, restores and revives them guides them in the paths of right living, ones that delight and give pleasure to God. Even when the paths take them through the valley of deepest darkness, they aren't afraid because he walks beside them. His trusty shepherd's crook makes them feel secure. His authority is their strength and peace. He serves them an amazing, delicious feast in the presence of their enemies. He guards and protects them as they eat. He revives their drooping heads, anointing them with the fragrance of the Holy Spirit. Their cups brim with blessing. His beauty and love chase after them every day of their lives so they're not afraid for their futures. Their dwelling place, their home, is the house of God for all their life and into eternity. As I understand it, when Jesus was on earth, shepherds led their sheep into a sheep pen every evening and then let them out again the next morning. The pen had stone walls around it that kept out animals that preyed on sheep. It was usual for the shepherd to sleep across the gap through which the sheep went in and out and thus were an extra level of protection in the event of danger. So a shepherd literally became the gate to the sheep pen. And he put his life on the line. When talking about himself as the gate, Jesus went on to say, this is why God my Father loves me, because I freely lay down my life, which he did on the cross. And so I am free to take it up again, which he did at his resurrection. When I think about Jesus being the gate, I'm reminded of another psalm that speaks of thanksgiving and talks about entering into the place where God's spirit is present. The way to come into his presence, the psalm says, is through the gate. Here's what the psalm says. Lift up your voice with a great shout of joy to the Lord. Go ahead and do it, everyone, everywhere. As you serve him, be glad and worship him. Sing your way into his presence with joy. And realize what this means. We have the privilege of worshiping the Lord our God. 
for he is our creator and we belong to him. We are the people of his pleasure, the sheep of his pasture. You can pass through his open gates with the password of praise. Come right into his presence with thanksgiving. Come, bring your thank offering to him and affectionately bless his beautiful name. For the Lord is always good and ready to receive you. So kind that it will astound you. And he is famous for his faithfulness toward all. Everyone knows God can be trusted, for he keeps his promises to every generation. No matter what is happening in your life at the moment, there is never a time when you cannot pass through his gates, over the threshold of Jesus' grace and deep love for you, and into God's presence. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Thank mm-hmm. you.